So FM24 is now out and I thought I'm gonna go through and analyze a whole load of Wonder Kids from the real world, see how they are in game. So I've got a big long list of 300 Wonder Kids and I've broken them down, analyzed them. And in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you the best ones from that list, but I'm also gonna put out the full analysis of all the players in one big long video if you want to check out every player that I looked at who is a you know basically a, a hot prospect in the real world and it, they probably all look pretty good in the game on which ones you should sign so here are some of my favorites to sign that I found in Foot Manager if you've got any of your own let me know down in the comments Sebastian Bosselli is at River Plate um, he looks really good now look at this 16 tackling already 14 in the physical stamina is a little bit low six foot 14 crossing, so if you want to use him out wide, he's a good wide player. 10 for dribbling isn't too bad. He's got some really good attributes. 15 determination there, 15 teamwork, 10 off the ball, 13 vision. I think he could be really, really, really useful. I think he would be a great pickup. 15 heading and 14 jumping reach as well, which you could certainly use him in that centre-back position. I think probably either a centre-back, maybe a wide centre-back, particularly with those new roles this year, Sebastian Bosselli could be one to go grab um, from the leagues outside of Europe. Yassin Ozcan, again, good marking, tackling, decent, first touch, decent, good across the board, really determined here, which should be good. He obviously won't have that in every role, but he's only 17, so he'll be really good. Two, two, 240 to 2.4K. He's a Cassian Passer um, in their under 19s. I think he could be a really good pickup. Go have a look at him in your save. Joel Hatter, now this guy looks good. He's 17. He's at RX. He's 11 to 16 mil, so he's not the cheapest, but really good physicals already. Six foot two, tackling, marking, good, heading, decent, determined. No real weak points in there, you know, maybe his vision's a little bit low, anticipation a little bit, maybe uh, so some people like the aggression on the center backs, which I can understand, you know, you don't want them really under aggressive. So that might be an area for him to work on. You could certainly put him out as a left back as well. He could be a useful player. Go have a look at Joel Hato. Usmane Diomande. Now this guy looks good. 16 composure, 14 marking, 15 passing, 15 tackling, 13 position, 16 vision, 18 fitness, 15 jumping reach, 6 foot 3, 16 strength. This guy looks amazing. He's 32 to 40 million though at Sporting, so he's going to cost you a fair amount. You could get him out of the Portuguese division if you're at a top, top club. He might be one worth, uh, you know, spending that extra cash on. But yeah, he brings balls out of defense. I'm not surprised. He's definitely a ball playing defender. Looks like a fantastic player. Grab him if you're at a top, top. You know, if I was at Man City, this would be someone I'd be looking at getting. Nicolas Romero, Argentinian. Um, yeah, he looks solid. Good fitness. 6-1. You know, tackling 15. Markings 13. Headings 13. Jumping 14. Fit. Determined. Could develop nicely. 19. 750k to 7.8. So we could be able to pick up quite cheap because at the minute he's in the Argentinian divisions. So you could certainly go and get Nicolas Romero for a good, good price. Anes Cartagena. Look at this guy. He's got 816 jumping reach, six foot four. Shame the heading isn't a little bit higher. Nicely determined. Marking's okay. Tackling's okay. I could do with those being a bit better. Passing and vision could be a little bit better as well, but they're not too bad. Ball playing better. Now he is only 17, so he is going to develop that a little bit more, hopefully. And he's only 120 to 1.2 million. I think he's one to take a risk on personally. If I saw him and he's six foot four already, 16 jumping reach, I would go grab him. You're not going to spend a lot of money. Stick him in your youth team, loan him out. Give it a season or two. Worst case, you end up selling one because he's not going to break your bank if you're a top, top club. So I think you're still picking him up. If you're a championship club or, you know, equivalent in one of the other leagues, by all means, grab this guy. Like, I think he could definitely do you a job. Diego Coppola at Hayes Verona. Now, this guy looks pretty good. Six foot four, jumping reach 14, heading 13, marking 13, tackling 14. Determined, he is 19. He's going to cost you around 10 million, I'd imagine. I think, again, if you're a top Serie A team, get him off Hayes Verona. Give him a year or two. I mean, it depends. Maybe Serie A team's 10 million is too much. Maybe a Premier League team could grab him for that 10 million price point or a PSG or someone like that, one of the French teams or Spanish teams or even the German teams. But I think he's worth, he's probably worth, uh, worth a punt. I mean, if you're Leicester and you've got a bit of money to spend, I don't know how much Leicester have at the start of the game. If you're Leicester, this is the player you want to bring in and get those other two guys gone. Uh, Zeno de Bast. Look at this guy. 13 heading, 14 marking. Really good passing and vision on this guy. You could probably redeploy him as a DLP with that four, 15 passing, 13 vision. Decisions maybe could be a bit better, but composure is good. First touch is good. So you could probably push a good technique, probably push him up the pitch a little bit. But certainly as a ball playing defender, he works nicely. 14, six foot three. Um, Zeno de Bast and Alec. He's going to cost what, he's 12 to 18 million. So he's not the cheapest. Um, he's one for me to watch out in my Belgian builder nation, but yeah, certainly one to keep your eye on. Lenny Euro is an interesting one. I, I was looking at him in just before the game came out. Really determined, good heading, good jumping reach, six foot three. He's 17, 8.6 to 10.5 million. 
but I think he's going to be one of those 80 to 90 million pound defenders in a season or two within your game, a couple of seasons in. With that determination and these other attributes, particularly that heading, jumping reach, height 6'3", and they can get taller, the players in the game. I don't know by how much, um, but certainly when they're 16 through 19, 20, they can still grow. I think Lenny Oro is definitely one to go grab. Araldo, look at this guy. This looks pretty solid. 13s across the main three for the defensive. Decent passing. The mentals look good. Lots of 12s, 13s, 15 in there for positioning. Work rate, determination of 13. And again, all the physicals. All the physicals 13. No, he's got a 12 for jumping reach, which maybe a little bit low. Six foot. You could probably push him up into a DM position. He might be quite useful there. He's not cheap at 11 to 16 mil, but he's in the Brazilian division. A lot of the players in the Brazilian division do have release clauses. So you can go see if he has a release clause. You might just pick him up a little bit cheap and uh you know he probably fits a decent level team wesley and the first wesley or the first of several wesleys on the list this one's at uh, flamengo i've got to remember which ones the which ones are which with the brazilian teams i mean this guy 175 to 1.7 million this is an absolute steal look at this guy's attributes he's got 15 acceleration 15 agility 16 stamina 15 pace what else i mean he's got 14 teamwork 14 work rate 14 passing 14 first touch 14 dribbling he's 19 like he is going to be good he, has he, got, he hasn't got a future contract or a future transfer or anything minimum fee release clause is at 37 million so he might cost uh, a fair amount of money i tell you what we'll, we'll have a look we'll see what we can do what do they want they want one between 170 and 1.7 I'm actually going to make an offer and see what they say. If I offer a 170, they, they've accepted it pretty much at the 1.7. No, they've added on a 1.6. So about 3 million. I don't, I haven't, I've not even negotiated that. There is a sell-on fee there, of course, but certainly Wesley. I mean, go look at him. He looks good. He's the one at Flamengo. There are five or six Brazilian Wesley. Actually, I say five or six. There's about 40 Brazilian Wesleys, but he's 19. He's at Flamengo uh, Reserves. I think he's really good. Flair, I mean, interestingly, his flair is a bit low. Considering his first touch technique, dribbling is so high. It's strange that the flair is so low and maybe the decisions as well, but everything else about this guy looks actually really good. Um, you could, I mean, the worst case, you make a profit on him. Augustin uh, Guy, gay? I don't know how you say this guy's name. Again, another one, 3.7 to 7.6, sorry, 3.7 to 5.6 million. Really good physicals, some really good mentals in there. Teamwork's good, decisions good, bravery's good, and the and the uh, the technicals as well. Technique, tackling, passing, marking. I mean, he's got long throws, which is useful for your right backs because it's normally your right backs and left backs who you want taking him. Dribbling, crossing, everything looks really good on him. He's 19. San Lorenzo, go check out Augustin. Kevison in Brazil. Look at these. Look at these uh, physicals on this guy. Acceleration, agility, pace, decent, strength, decent. And some of the mentals all look pretty solid. Positioning maybe a little bit low. Decisions could be higher for the kind of role he's doing. But really good crossing, first touch, marking, passing, tackling technique. He looks solid. 7.2 to 10 million. They normally have a release clause. Let's see if he has a release clause. He does. It's big. But um, I don't think you would have to pay that for him. Wait, where, where we lost him? There he is, Kevison. Uh, I don't think you'd have to pay that for him. Probably if you... I mean, I'm going to make... Let's make an offer. Let's see what we do. 7.5 million. Yeah, they pretty much negotiate it around 10 million. So certainly Kevison, you can you can you can try and grab Valentin Barco. He's a Boca player. Is he on loan? Seems to suggest he was out on loan, but he looks really good. 6.4 to 8 million. Does he have a release clause? He does. His release clause is at 8 million. Look at this dribbling 15, first touch, passing, technique. Composure 15, decisions 15, flair 16, vision 16. I mean, look, this guy is great. I, I, you could play him in midfield, you could play him on wing back. Physicals, like maybe the stamina is a little bit low, the strength is a little bit low. Determination, I, I would check, make, try to get one with a good, like if he's not got good determination and you're safe, maybe think about it. But if he's coming out with these kind of attributes already, how many 15s has he got in there or 15 or higher? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine 15s or higher at 18 years old. Perfect, perfect. Go grab Valentin Barco. Gabriel Moscardo. Look at this guy. This guy looks really good. Uh, anchor, marking, tackling's decent. All those mentals in a really good position. Good determination. All those physicals in a really good position as well. I think Moscardo is pretty good. 6.6 .6 to 8.2 is probably about what you'd expect. I expect there is a release clause on that. It is 23 million, but I expect if you offer 8 million, they will accept. Uh, yeah, they'll take about nine million with a with a with a sell-on clause. Moscato worth a look. Uh, Andre Santos is at Nottingham Forest. He is really good. Twenty-seven to thirty-three million. He's on loan from Chelsea. I mean, you look at these mentals, these physicals, and these technicals. You could already see he's going to be a great player. Brazilian. He'll probably he already has got a Brazil cap. So yeah, I think comes deep to ball, get ball, tries long-range passes. There's some room for development in there. I think if you're at Chelsea, you hold on to him.
William Clem at Copenhagen, 70K to 4.4 million. This is one of those bargains I think you should go have a look at. Ball winning midfielder, teamwork, good. Stamina, lots of 12s, 13s, jumping reach 14, six foot one, 12 in your heading. So, you know, he starts to become a little bit of a help in the set pieces. Maybe not your main set piece threat, but certainly helpful. You get those shorter and you get those tall and defensive midfielders. He's on the taller end, but a lot of 12s, 13s, brave. 14s in there, concentrations, 12, like lots of 12s and 13s in there. 19, but at that price point, if you can get them on the lower end of that price point, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. What do, what do they say? They want 2.6 to 2.3. Okay, they're wanting nearer the 4 million. What if I offer? It looks like I can get them for around about the 3 million mark. So certainly uh, worth a look. See if you can get it for cheap. It might be worth a loan if you're a, if you're a championship team or something as well, or like the equivalent level in other divisions. Matteo Prati at Cagliari. Good decisions. 4.7 to 8.4, not bad. Passing, not bad. Could be a good playmaker, this guy. Worth a look. He's a little bit on the more pricey side, but certainly some good attributes in there. Luca Lepani. Now, this guy looks good. Uh, 16 jumping reach. Now, the mentals don't look good, but the physicals look good and the technicals look good. 16 jumping reach. He's 18. 650k to 8.2. Probably be playing up towards the 8.2. I would like some of those mentals to be a bit higher if you want to use him as, a, as an attacking midfielder. As a defensive midfielder, though, he looks solid. The composure is the biggest worry there. And maybe the tackling's a little bit low, but good passing. Good free kick taking. Good long shots. Good heading. First touch is fine. I think you're looking like across the park not bad if you can get him for a cheap cheap price luca lipani might be decent ruben van bommel i don't know if he's related to that he does look like him he must be he must be mark van bommel's son he is mark van bommel's son right i was gonna say and he, he looks good already look at that what is he he's 18 3.8 to 5.6 he for me is a buy like there are some low things in there. there's a lot of 12s in there but he's 18 the determination is high enough Physicals are good. Pacey, acceleration, bit of, you know, 13 finishing, 12s in the air as you want. I think uh, Ruben Van Bommel, and he said Marco Van Bommel, Ru Ruben Van Bommel is definitely worth a grab. Jack McGlynn at Philadelphia, 20 determination, 8.8 .8 to 11 million American. 14, yeah, he's worth a grab. 14 passing, 14 vision. There's some areas for improvement, but I think when you've got that kind of, if, he, if you've got driven personality, 20 determination, if he comes out like that in your game, grab him. Sven Naipan. Now, if you saw my video uh, the other day, this was one of the players that I picked out to be really special this year. 16. So bear that in mind. You know, the attributes are a little bit lower, but there's a lot more room for the development. 14 determination. Fairly professional. Bit of pace already. Good technicals already. Finishing could be a bit higher, but, you know, he's, he's sort of a middle of the park player rather than the forward player. But I think, you know, 13 passing, 13 vision already. Mentals have a long way to go, but already some good flair. Runs with ball, tries killer balls. So, you know, that's quite a nice trait for some people. They like that. I think Sphere Nipan. 2.6 to 5.2. Wait, let's try it. Make an offer. Yeah, you can pretty much buy him for that. Worth it. Go get Nipan. Pontus Darbo is a is a Swedish player. Pretty cheap. 60k to 600 k I think at that price, this that's that's a player. At the price, you take a punt. 17. Certainly. Like the attributes are good enough there. Grab him. He's a hack, and you should be able to. But like, well, if I offered six hundred, I offered six. What do they want? They want just under. They want a million, basically. Like, grab him. Uh, Lamin Kamara at Mets is a good player. I think he was on loan somewhere before. No, he wasn't. Might be thinking of a different player, but he looks really good. Like, all over the park looks decent. Five fifty k three point eight. I certainly think he'd be one worth grabbing as a as a centre mid. He looks pretty good all round. Would be really good box to box. He even do that ball winning midfielder. I know we've sort of moved up the pitch, and he's just cropped up out of nowhere as a ball winning, ball -winning midfielder, but. Personality perfectionist, determined, looks really good. Senegalese Lamin Kamara. Mateus Frank at Crystal Palace. This guy looks great. 14 to 18 million. I think a bigger club's going to buy him. He's 19, he's Brazilian. Um, but look at all those 14s and 15s in there. Determination, flair. We've got, I mean, these are all 13s, but they're all solid. Passing 14, technique 14, first touch 15, uh, dribbling 14, and like on this side as well. I think he's like really good. Um, so if, you, if you're a Palace manager this year, Get this, like, be, be starting, Mateus Franke. You've got a little starlet here. Anderson Duarte. This guy's at Defensor Sporting. He looks good. Determined. Flair. Ace is there. Acceleration, agility are fine. Could do with a bit more strength. But dribbling, finishing first touch, all 12s and 13s. He's 19 new guy. Technique as well there. 1.2 to 2.5 million. I think at that, at that price, he's an absolute steal. 
Wilfred Nonto, I've just brought him into the Southampton save that we are doing now. Those physicals are incredible. 16, 16, 16. Okay, he doesn't have the jumping reach. 17, 15, 13, 12. So there's like one, two, three, three 16s and a 17 and a 15. Dribbling 16 as well. Determination flair is there. Technique is there. I think Wilfred Nonto can go get you lots of goals. And he didn't cost me that much. I think he only cost me about 15, 16 million from, from Southampton. Definitely worth a grab. Gianluca Prestiani. Now, this is the other player I've just signed in the Southampton safe. Acceleration, agility, balance, fitness. Like, all these are looking all right. He's 17, so there's definitely room to develop. All those mentals already, other than leadership, which is a 1, and positioning, which is a 10. 13s and 14s. Aggression's down a bit and work rate, but they're fine. Finishing could be improved, but if you're looking to play him in that advanced midfield rather than up top, you know, 12 passing, 13 vision, first touch dribbling both there. I think he's a really, really good option. Four to eight million. I think I paid less than that even. You know, certainly wasn't too expensive to get this guy worth worth grabbing from Velas. Milos Lukovic, 26k to 275. So this guy's really cheap. He's Serbian. He's at IMT. Now, the physicals and mentals and technicals uh, don't stand out loads, except for this one here. Look at this passing, 16. Vision, 12. Decisions, 13. Finishing, 12. First, like when you start to add them up and look at what he could be capable of, he's 17, says so development there. Really cheap. I think he would be a really, really good grab. I mean, he's one of the bargain picks I think you should go for. That was my selection of some of the best Wonder Kids that I found in game based on real world uh, Wonder Kids. If you want to see the full version of this list, make sure you go check out this video and you can see my analysis of all over 320-ish players, how good they are, how they turn out. There's some real gems in there.